So you played Northampton on Saturday. Is it definitely more a case of building on a really good performance at Oxford rather than bouncing back from a cup defeat at Exeter in the week? Yeah, I mean, look, you, you know, we've, we've made 11 changes for um, the cup game, so, you know, the, the, the kind of emphasis on, on the league was, was always, um, you know, our priority straight out the gate. You know, I've, I've spoken about that before. We'd use the kind of EF, well, I don't even know what it's called, Papa John's trophy, um, as an opportunity for lads who needed minutes or younger players so we can see you know where they're at in terms of the development um, and you don't want to lose a game of football um, you know no regardless of whatever team you put out because you know we were five unbeaten in the first team um, and you want you know that continuity to step in but as I say you know the, the physical data that's come back from the game and the response in the second half you know for me I got all the positives I needed for it from that second group, I mean, we didn't get the result we were looking for. The first half was was abject, um, you know, for for a couple of reasons. Um, but then the, the response in the second half, you know, the the physical numbers that were put out by a group that's massively under uh, match preparation, you know, because we don't have a, a regular second team or twenty threes program um, fixture list for them. So those boys are a credit to the profession, really, because the fact that they were able to put out the numbers they were with as little football as they've had. Um, is a testament to their professionalism so they'll benefit from that you know some of them need loans now we'll try and get them out and, and get them on loan and then some of them are just scratching around waiting for an opportunity to, to get in the first team and, and as I said to them a half time Wednesday you know we've got 11 first team starting players not selected tonight and we've also got seven or eight first team players on the injury list so if you're wanting an opportunity, this is probably the game where you have to step forward because as those injured players start to return, there's going to be less and less opportunities for players who haven't made an impact while fully fit, whilst the squad's been depleted with injury. So we've got a nice, healthy competition going. As I say, Northampton on a good you know, little run themselves. I think they've won four, last four on a spin um, in our stadium. We want to start to make a... You know, the Mem are a really, really tough place for teams to come. We haven't managed to do that consistently enough. Uh, away from home, we've kind of been hard to beat and, and we've shown a bit of resilience there. At home, we need to, you know, really galvanise our fan base by putting in a solid performance and winning a game of football. Yeah, it's a very simple question, but how do you do that? You've got three home games coming up and it, it feels like a big week and a chance to address the home form. Yeah, I just think we continue doing what we're doing. Uh, we've got to bring our away form into the stadium and... Um, it's it's the emphasis is on us to get the fans right behind us and, and with us throughout the, the course of the game and you know I think now the way the lads are you know just looking at the the way the team is and you know we've gone to a League One outfits Sunday and you know we, we've traded blows with them and I think we've shown you know maybe we're not at the cap capability at this moment in time of you know winning League One but we've certainly shown we can we can stand in the middle of the ring and trade with them you know we had to rely on good goalkeeping and the crossbar and post a couple of times but that's what you'd expect when you play against a team that's considerably considerably yeah, above you in the in the in the football pyramid. But also we had a number of opportunities ourselves and um, you know, luckily for us we don't have to play, you know, a top end League One side every single week because, you know, we're in League Two. So we've got a, a top end League Two side coming in Northampton. Um, the club's got a great record against them in the past. We probably should have won there last year uh, in a in a vital league game. And looking forward to the game. You know, we want to be back in our stadium. You know, we we fancy our chances of playing anyone at this moment in time. So, looking forward to this week. We've got a really good cup tie sandwich in the middle of two really really difficult games against fellow teams that are, you know, trying to be in in the higher echelons of the of the table. Yeah. Do you envisage playing the stronger side as you can for all three games, or do you have to manage the squad this week? No, we've managed the squad last week, so. Um, you know, we'll take each game as it comes because you never know, you know, the output of, of each player or whether someone uh, picks up something in a game. But you know, we've got three three you know huge games in a week, and as a footballer, what more do you want? You're in your stadium. I went, we were at the the stadium for the memorial yesterday. The pitch looked magnificent. Really looking forward to, to to the games on on them. You know, getting in front of our fans again feels like the whole place has turned a bit of a corner. You know. Um, and I think solid away away performances count for loads, but really, really important that we that we have a solid home performance and that we have a really good week this week. You know, we go on and win three games this week. 
uh, all of a sudden our, our season seems to be moving in a completely different direction than what it was maybe a couple of months ago. And um, law of averages, um, you're eventually going to give me some positive news on the team news front. I know like, you revealed Harvey's going to be out for a few weeks at, at Oxford. Um, Luke Thomas, is he going to be available this weekend? He, he hasn't trained as yet, so I'm, I'm highly doubtful of that. Um, it might come too soon for him. We'll have to reassess and, and, and see if he's Tuesday. Um, but yeah, we're just monitoring that at this moment in time. I, I don't think he's going to be uh, fit, and, fit and available for Saturday's game. So, a bit of a blow for us, but again, you know, the lads who went in... Uh, in in the Oxford game, you know, showed um, more than enough capabilities uh, in in terms of, you know, chances created, and you know we've gone and scored two goals, and there's an argument we, you know, f we we could have scored more. You know, they've they've cleared one off the line. I ever was hit the post. We had a good number of opportunities. Really good save from Sammy Nick in the second half with his foot. Um, so yeah, look, we we've got enough without having any strikers. We've got enough attacking. Uh, options because you know the whole team's weighing in with goals. You know, you've seen even you know Wednesday night you, the strikers that you know, we have got fit. Um, Adams, you know, tried desperately to score but, but cannot score at the minute. Um, and then the rest of the group are weighing in. You know, Westy's weighed in with a goal. Nick Handling gets another one, another set play goal, and, and obviously young Ryan Jones. So there's there's goals coming from everywhere in the team. Albeit, I would like to have a major you know source of goals in terms of you know twenty. 25 goal season striker, the, the MHL of a difference. Thank you.